and we are going hey guys it's Rob um, still up here camped out at Pagosa Springs well north of Pagosa Springs just right up under here let me take you out here I'll show you we're just right up under Wolf Creek Pass and the famous hairpin curve you can't quite see the hairpin from here the one that everybody talks about where the trucks crash but it is just right over there if you could see that that's where it just over the top of that hill right there there's a big scenic overlook and the big hairpin turn where the trucks sometimes lose their brakes and go completely over the edge and that's I'm not exaggerating when I say that I've hiked up there and found pieces of trucks and that kind of thing um, so anyway we're going to work on a couple of the videos we were talking about and so that's good grief that's Gavin let me back up a little bit here Gavin's a friend of mine he's going to be helping me do a little bit of this in film Gavin and I have been practicing doing some different things with flint and steel he's been learning to build a flint and steel fire and learning to do char cloth and how that all works and so that's been kind of a cool thing maybe later on we'll get a video of him building a fire because he got one going while I go in pretty short order so I was pretty pleased with him but what we're going to be talking about right now is uh, the bag we're kind of working on that whole get home bag inch bag bug out bag kind of thing and uh, um, what I'm going to show you is basically some of the stuff that stays in my pickup all the time I got two or three different trucks I got the truck that we travel in with the family and I got my work truck and then we got another vehicle or two, and we are we are those paranoid kind of guys. We're not paranoid at all, actually, but we're those guys that believe in making sure we got something with us all the time. These are the bags right here. If Gavin wants to kind of pan across and just kind of look at them, <clears throat> I'll just show you the different ones. This is obviously a rifle case that, um, <laughs> fortunately, we're in a good part of the world. You'll like this. I left this sitting in the back of my truck downtown at the park the other day. My wife's doing a show down there and selling her hair clips and uh, I managed to leave this with my AR and some magazines and some other stuff and a night vision device all in the back of this bag and when I came back about an hour and a half later much much to my horror and pleasure it was still sitting in the back of my truck so got lucky on that one some parts of the world are easier than others anyway that's what that is and this is sometimes in there sometimes not but we've got it these three bags right here are ones that live in various toolboxes in my trucks. <clears throat> Just different ones. They got different things in them. All of them are backpacks of some sort. Two of them have waist straps, which of course always makes them nicer to carry. Um, this one doesn't. I've carried this in quite a long ways before, and it's not bad to carry, but it doesn't have a waist strap, so it's a little bit harder. Uh, so we've got that. And then I got this little guy here. This is. <laughs> This is my purse that my father-in-law got me. First, I thought he got it as a joke, but it's actually been pretty handy. It's a messenger bag, I think, is the actual right name for it. And that usually goes from whichever vehicle I'm in. This usually goes with me and kind of sits in the dashboard, or not the dashboard, but the floorboard up under the under the firewall there, kind of on the hump in the middle, and it's got some stuff in it. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to start, I don't even know which one I'll start with. Let me start with this one. This is pretty simple right here maybe not I don't know I'll start with one of these and we'll just kind of go through the different things that are in them and uh, Gavin's getting smoked out over there we got a fire going but the wind keeps changing direction we don't know which way the smoke's going to go uh, but what we'll do is we're and some of these I'm not real sure what's in them to be honest uh, a couple of these these two right here especially I'm always pulling stuff out of moving things around if we're doing a day hike somewhere we're supposed to go up to uh, uh, Mesa Verde tomorrow and go through the the cliff dwellings and some of that stuff and so I'll be moving a bunch of stuff around like I always do but there'll be a few things that always kind of live in them that we've always got some water filters and different things like that and so what I'm going to do is just probably two or three little kind of hopefully fairly short quick videos to show what's in the bags um, we actually kind of cheated and, and I felt something in here a while ago and found something that I've been looking for for a long time um, <laughs> so We'll do that here in a little bit too, but uh, like I say, I just who knows. Let's start with this one right here. This is probably my main one that pretty much makes sure I've got all the time. It's got I have a pretty good idea of what goes in it. It doesn't get a lot of stuff pulled out of it. So this is probably the one we'll start with, and uh, we'll pull it over to the table and get going. So hit that button on top. And 